Welcome to the Soul Pit Media Health and Business Report, hosted by Craig Dawson, Vice President, Soul Pit Media. Hello, and welcome to the Soul Pit Media Health and Business Report. Today is a show that I'm really looking forward to. I really love to highlight young people in our community who are really making an impact in our community. Today we have Wesley Lyon. Wesley is a motivational speaker, author, and founder of the Pursuit Program. Wesley? Craig, thank you. I appreciate you having me on your show. Well, it's an honor to do that. I want to get right into the interview because I've really been looking forward to this. Wesley, can you talk to our listeners a little bit about the Pursuit Program? The Pursuit Program is an educational experience for students to develop skills that they may not be taught at home. So we work with, we target school districts and individuals who um, may not receive some of the life skills that you res- some other people may develop over time, things such as goal setting, time management, decision making. We have processes for all these things, and I've developed curriculum for different schools throughout Pittsburgh and throughout the state of West Virginia as well on um, using some of these uh, this curriculum in their school districts, really just helping the students develop. And we've had a tremendous amount of success over the years. We work with over 100,000 students, and we're just excited to continue to grow and, and be highlighted here as well. Now, Wesley, in doing my research for today's show, I understand that you attended Woodland Hills High School. How was that experience for you? I attended Woodland Hills High School. I uh, played football. I really excelled in sports. It, it, it was a great experience. I think I really developed. I think uh, Woodland Hills is such a diverse school district where we kind of had a little bit of everything and we could get involved in a little bit of everything. And, and we learned the, the bad and we learned the good. And it was a good experience for me and my personal development. And now I'm able to utilize what I learned at high school and utilize that same process to help other students with and, and understand what they may be going through and really help them develop in some of the areas that they might be lacking in. Now, was there anything like the Pursuit Program available to you back then? No, we didn't. We So what I, what I based the Pursuit Program uh, around and really what the P- Pursuit Program embodies is bringing in somebody that can motivate the students, somebody the students look forward to seeing, myself being the primary person that goes into the schools as a former professional athlete, somebody that is six foot eight inches tall or six foot nine, give or take uh, an inch or so. It really captures the student. And that's what we wanted to do with the Pursuit Program. But when I was in high school, we didn't have that. I remember we had a speaker come in that I related to. He was a college football player that I connected with. I I don't remember his name, but I do remember his message. And that's kind of what I wanted to do with the Pursuit Program, where I wanted to tell stories. Like I want to help educate students through stories and help them receive the the topic that we're talking about. Like if we're talking about being persistent, I may talk about a story on how I utilize different steps and how I was persistent and reached a goal. And I tell it in a story form and it might be how I made it to the professional level in sports or how I opened up a business or something like that where the students can relate to and really be encouraged by it. Even if they don't remember me specifically, they might remember that story when they're going through something and they're in a tough time where they need to be persistent to get through. They remember that story. Now, you led me right into my next question, Wesley. It was my understanding that you were very modest because you were an exceptional athlete in high school. How hard was it to remain focused academically and still excel athletically? For me, it was mandatory. I had great parents and I had a a great support system, my brother included, who excelled in sports as well. And and my father really stayed on me about my grades. And he was 6'4 and 350 pounds. So he didn't play, you know, if I came home with poor grades. So I was able to balance really well. I I just really utilized my time very well. And I started to understand time management and organization at a young age. Over time, that skill has developed, and now I'm able to teach on that skill. Now, in college sports, football especially, it's a sport, but it's more like a business with the pressure to perform both on and off the field and in the classroom. What was your experience like at West Virginia University? At West Virginia, every athlete has their own journey. I think mine was unique. 
I've been through several coaches. I had three receiver coaches in my four years at West Virginia University. I had two head coaches, and there was ups and downs. It was it was a roller coaster ride, but just staying focused and staying true to my core and understanding the bigger picture and just continuing to work and putting my head down and, and go to work every day, it um, really helped me develop. Like I, I wouldn't take any of it back, any of the experiences back, just because it really helped me develop into who I am. So it was great. I I mean, at West Virginia, they, they were very hard on you about attending class. Even if the teacher or the professor told you you didn't have to show up to class because we were watching a movie and we had grad assistants that would check your classes on a regular basis and they would show up to your class. And if you're not in class, they report you to the coach and then the strength coach take you out to practice and makes you run and do all the torture you basically just for missing class. So it, it really kept a lot of athletes on track. I, I remember times where I was running late for a class and, and one of my teammates called me and told me that there was a guy checking the for us to make sure we're in class. I parked on the side of a busy street and, and just left my car there just to run the class to be there, you know, in the middle of like the classes were transitioning and kids were walking around and I was like, there's so much traffic. I'm just going to park in the middle of the street and I'm going to run the class because I didn't want to get in trouble. So it, it, not to say everybody cares like that, but that's just the person that I was and uh, the student that I was. So I, I went and checked in. I'm like, look, I'm here. I'm, I can't find parking, whatever's going on, but I'm here. You know, I checked in with the guy and then, you know, he, I went and, and got my car and got situated. Wow. That's what you call true dedication. Wesley, after college, you actually signed with the Pittsburgh Steelers. What was that like for a kid from Woodland Hills to walk through that tunnel over at Heinz Field? That was the, one of the most amazing experiences. With that experience of getting to that level, for one, was amazing. And then let alone playing in your, your hometown where you have your, your friends. And you would, I would run into people that uh, went to my high school at games. They would come and cheer me on and pregame and different things like that. So that whole experience was just amazing um, to put on that uniform. And I was very familiar with Heinz Field. I played, in, I played at Heinz Field at West Virginia. I played in the championship in high school. So I was very familiar. So it was just like home turf and it almost felt more comfortable than even where I played at in college, just because I was so familiar with the organization. It wasn't like the first team that I was picked up by was the New York Jets. And when I went to the Jets, I knew nothing about the Jets. I had to do some research on who the owner was. I had to do some research on the head coach and, and different things like that, where the Steelers, I knew everything about the Steelers. I knew the history. I knew the head coach. I knew the owners. And that right there made it more relaxed. And it made me feel more comfortable and made me or allowed me to be myself as an athlete versus being so uptight, not knowing who's around me, who I'm talking to. I knew when the GM came in because I knew who Kevin Colbert was because he's been there for years. Or I knew when the Rooney family walked down the stairs and, and they're showing up to practice. I knew who they were, where versus another team, you know, the owner could be sitting right next to me and I wouldn't even know who it was. We'll be right back with the Soul Pit Media Health and Business Report. The Port Authority of Allegheny County is hiring. If you're looking for a long-term career, competitive wages, great benefits, and desire an opportunity where very few days are the same, check out the opportunities at portauthority.org. We are driven to improve transit in the region. That's portauthority.org. We do all we can to ensure our kids are happy, healthy, safe, and strong. Having high-quality, low-cost health insurance helps make that possible. With CHIP, your child can have medical, dental, eye care, and more for free or low cost. Whether you're self-employed, unemployed, or your employee benefits are just too expensive, CHIP is there for you to help your child be strong. CHIP Strong. Apply or renew today at 800-986-KIDS or go to chipcoverspakids.com. Paid for with Pennsylvania taxpayer dollars. Looking for a cost-effective way to help increase your company's bottom line? Look no further than Soul Pit Media. With our award-winning print, internet, podcasts, and Soul Pit television options, we can help your business get to that next level. For more information, contact Craig Dawson at 412-407-7685. That's 412-407-7685. And let Soul Pit Media take you to that next level. UPMC is committed to addressing the health disparities that disproportionately impact African Americans in our communities. By driving education, training, and programming, and building relationships with our community partners, 
we can ensure that all individuals and families have access to the preventive care, screenings, and treatment that can lead to healthier lives. Learn more at upmc.com slash health disparities. With a ramped up commitment to investing in local black owned businesses, Duquesne Light Company in partnership with the new Pittsburgh Courier presents Small Business Spotlight powered by DLC. Published twice per month, the Small Business Spotlight profiles two black owned businesses and provides each of them with a free quarter page ad to promote their business. Do you know a business that should be featured? Visit newpittsburghcourier.com forward slash small business spotlight for more information. The future of transit is now, and we are working to improve your ride. Look for bus tracking technologies and other innovations to keep you better informed. Getting around town has never been so easy. Portauthority.org. We're back with the Soul Pit Media, Health, and Business Report. Wow, I, I know that was a great experience for you. You know what, man, I have to be honest with you. What I admire most about your story as I prepared for this interview is that after your football career ended, you decided to give back to the community by starting the Pursuit Program. What led you to that decision, try to just give back? Yeah, so what happened was I wanted to write about my experiences. So whenever I was transitioning out of football, I ended up writing uh, my book, The Pursuit with Patience, where I wanted to tell a story about the ups and downs, the things that people don't talk about when, um, you know, especially for young kids that have aspirations to be a professional athlete. So I wanted to write about that. So once I wrote about that and when I was working on my book and I remember I was still playing football at the time when I first started writing the book, I remember some kids came up to me in, in the neighborhood I grew up in, in the Willen Hill School District in North Braddock. And they just told me like, you inspire us, everything that you're doing, everything that you have going on, like we're really inspired by you, just keep doing it, do it for us. And I remember that to this day, I remember where I was at. I remember I was like just getting out my car, what car I was driving. I remember the almost the exact moment because it meant a lot to me. And this was 12 years ago now, or not 12 years ago. This is probably about 10, 9, 10 years ago. And um, when those kids came up to me and told me that, I said, I want to write this book and I want to almost dedicate it to these kids because I want to inspire them. I want to help them see things different and think different. And once I wrote the book and, and that was published, I started being invited to come speak and school started bringing me in to do presentations. And once I started to do presentations with different schools, I became to get passionate about it. And I said, you know what? I don't want to just do one presentation because, okay, I can motivate kids for a day. You know, that could last maybe a week or two, but then what? What's the next step? So that's when I came out with the pursuit program where I said, you know what? They need more than just one day. They need to have a guide, something that helps them develop, helps guide them throughout life about goals. Yeah, you set goals in school, but they don't understand why they're doing it. So we break it down. We we, we make sure they're being specific. We're making sure people aren't telling them they can't do stuff because I hear it from parents. Um, I've, I've had students tell me, um, they told me that they couldn't play professional sports and they're in ninth grade. And I'm like, why can't you play? Like you can do anything you want to do because my dad told me nobody's ever made it out of here and play professional sports. And I was like, well, why can't you be the first one? So what we have to do when we're working with these students, we have to break perspectives of parents that are or perspectives that people have put on these students from their own parents, people that are very close to them, that they value their, you know, their comments and the things that they say. So we had to come in and, and that's what we've been doing over the years is breaking people's perspectives and just kind of rebuilding them up and helping them understand that they could do anything they want to do. But there's just a process to it. And if they can understand the first steps and start to create goals and plans that align with their processes, then they can reach those goals and anything that they want to do. So that's where we get excited about the pursuit program. I mean, it's difficult because you're breaking things that have been built up over years or perspectives because their parents may have never played or done or lived up to what they wanted to live up to or even even the teachers for that matter. So the people that are the closest with the students or around the students the most might be really tearing the students down. So I come in and really try to help build that back up and um, help the students understand that. And we've seen tremendous results. We've, I mean, I hear from students that we work with seven, eight years ago still, and um, we still stay in contact. They reach out for business advice. We, we just see the growth in these individuals. So we know what we're doing is, is working pretty well. 
man, I really respect what you're doing in the community. And I have to uh, tell you that sometimes in our community, we have the wrong view of what a true hero is. A hero actually is someone that not only can be looked up to, but can be leaned on for advice. And from what I understand about your program, man, that is what you're doing in the community. And I really am proud to be able to have you on the show today. And I just wanted to ask you too, how can interested students or parents contact you to enroll in your program? So they can visit the pursuitprogram.com. If parents or students are interested in being involved in the pursuit program, they go to the pursuitprogram.com. We have made a lot of transitions over the last two years. COVID helped ignite or push it forward. But two years ago, even before COVID, we started to transition our programming online because I'm only one person. And whenever I wanted to expand the business, because now we've grown to different states and we started working with the Board of Education in West Virginia, and just because I have a lot of background there, and, and we continue to grow. And as we're growing, I only can be so many places at once. So we started to develop an online portion of what we're doing in an online curriculum with videos, with activities that are interactive and really engaging. And we created this online course where students can participate in. They go to pursuitprogram.com and um, enroll in that. There is a fee with that. But um, if they email me, I would, <laughs> I mean, I, I want to give it out, but obviously we, we have to sustain sustain herself as a business, but I, I will work with whoever reaches out to me and make sure they get in. That's what we've done in the past where we pretty much just give it out, you know, next to nothing because we know everybody's situation is different. And But we want to make sure they're still getting the key skills that they need and students are, are receiving this type of information. Thank you for your time out of your busy schedule to be here with us on the Soul Pit Media Health and Business Report. Soul Pit Media is 100% behind you, man. I mean, anything that you would need to help facilitate what you're doing, please let us know and we'll be glad to do whatever we can to help you. And also, we got to have you back on the show at some point just to keep the community updated on what they can do to help our youth to reach their full potential. And definitely, I, I appreciate that. Even you saying that is awesome to hear, just the support that you're throwing my way. So I appreciate that. And yeah, I would love to be back anytime. Just give me a call and we'll make this happen. Well, I, I have to tell you off the record that I went to Pitt and for me to offer this to a West Virginia University graduate is a lot. <laughs> that's, I was about to say, that's big. And, and maybe hopefully the still is offset it. And I know that's a lot of people I run into. There's a lot of offset just because of the Pittsburgh Steelers side of being being a part of that organization as well. So I appreciate that. And I know that's hard for those Pitt guys. Yeah, man, I, I, we, we've been taking a couple L's lately, but, you know, uh, we're not going to hold that against you, man. <laughs> and, and look, Godspeed with your program, man, and thank you so much for your time. All right. Well, thank you. I appreciate everything. We'll be right back with the Soul Pit Media Health and Business Report. The Port Authority of Allegheny County is hiring. If you're looking for a long-term career, competitive wages, great benefits, and desire an opportunity where very few days are the same, check out the opportunities at portauthority.org. We are driven to improve transit in the region. That's portauthority.org. We do all we can to ensure our kids are happy, healthy, safe, and strong. Having high-quality, low-cost health insurance helps make that possible. With CHIP, your child can have medical, dental, eye care, and more for free or low cost. Whether you're self-employed, unemployed, or your employee benefits are just too expensive, CHIP is there for you to help your child be strong. CHIP Strong. Apply or renew today at 800-986-KIDS or go to chipcoverspakids.com. Paid for with Pennsylvania taxpayer dollars. Looking for a cost-effective way to help increase your company's bottom line? Look no further than Soul Pit Media. With our award-winning print, internet, podcasts, and Soul Pit television options, we can help your business get to that next level. For more information, contact Craig Dawson at 412-407-7685. That's 412-407-7685. And let Soul Pit Media take you to that next level. UPMC is committed to addressing the health disparities that disproportionately impact African Americans in our communities. By driving education, training, and programming, and building relationships with our community partners, 
we can ensure that all individuals and families have access to the preventive care, screenings, and treatment that can lead to healthier lives. Learn more at upmc.com slash health disparities. With a ramped up commitment to investing in local black owned businesses, Duquesne Light Company in partnership with the new Pittsburgh Courier presents Small Business Spotlight powered by DLC. Published twice per month, the Small Business Spotlight profiles two black owned businesses and provides each of them with a free quarter page ad to promote their business. Do you know a business that should be featured? Visit newpittsburghcourier.com forward slash small business spotlight for more information. The future of transit is now, and we are working to improve your ride. Look for bus tracking technologies and other innovations to keep you better informed. Getting around town has never been so easy. PortAuthority.org. We're back with the Soul Pit Media, Health, and Business Report. Hi, this is Debbie Norell, and welcome to the Soul Pit Media Health and Business Report community calendar. Pittsburgh Playwrights Theater invites you to view Cyril, a filmed play by Mark Clayton Southers and directed by Andrew Paul. The screening times are July 24th at 3 p.m. and 7 p.m. at the Heinz History Center, located at 1212 Smallman Street. To register, go to pittsburghplaywrights.org. Life Mail STEAM Academy, located in Wilkins Township, is the only K-12 male academy with a science, technology, engineering, arts, math-focused course of study, and it's now open. And the academy is looking to enroll male students in 6th and 7th grade. Their mission is to prepare all male scholars for college success and career readiness and to serve as a catalyst to increase the presence of African-American males in the STEM pipeline. Visit the website lifesteam.org for more information and to register. Sojourner House will hold their 17th annual Victorian Tea on Sunday, August 15th from 2 to 4 p.m. at the Omni William Penn Hotel in downtown Pittsburgh. Social hour will be from 1 to 2 p.m. The Victorian Tea is their signature fundraiser and awareness event that brings together over 300 individuals. Attendees enjoy a traditional tea, silent auction, and raffle while learning about the award-winning work of Sojourner House and Sojourner House Moms, which serves addicted mothers and their children, and hearing the inspiring stories of the families who have lived there. Visit www dot s j h p a dot org for tickets. The Anna Middleton Weight Learning Center will host their annual golf outing on Saturday, August 7th at the Yakagani Country Club in McKeesport. Sponsorships are available for $100. Play in a foursome or as an individual. Early bird foursome specials are $500 and available until July 29th. For more information, contact Paul Waite at P-W-A-I-T-E 2407 at Comcast.net. Thank you for listening to the Soul Pit Media Health and Business Report, brought to you by Port Authority Employment. Looking for a great job with benefits? Check out their website, portauthority.org, and click on Careers. Thank you for tuning in to the Soul Pit Media Health and Business Report, hosted by Craig Dawson, Vice President, Soul Pit Media. Thank you, Pittsburgh, for your continued support.